the past two weeks. I have two of these for breakfast, two six cup, 48 ounce, so that's like 96 ounces of liquid to start my day. And that's like two and a, two and a half liters. It is the secret to my success. The secret sauce is the protein shake. So if you've been following, I can't talk. My lips and my tongue are frozen. Warm up, lips. So if you guys have been following my vlogs for a little while, you know that I use this calendar to track all my weigh-ins and then I write my like weekly average weights and all that stuff. Really, this thing is, is not super useful. So, since the beginning of the year, since the first year I decided the show is getting closer, holidays are over, I need to get more serious about this prep. So for the past 10 days, I come over here, I drink my two protein shakes, and then I input my Fitness Pal macros and my daily weigh-ins into the spreadsheet. This is the spreadsheet that comes along with the dieting ebook, but as you can see here, I've already input yesterday's numbers and my weight for today. The point is, is that I highly recommend if you are sort of more, taking your diet more seriously, if you're really trying to dial in your dieting, I highly recommend having a spreadsheet like this. Even if you don't buy my ebook, just create a spreadsheet that can kind of do something like this, just so that you can see firsthand and it can update itself. You don't have to do any of the math by hand. It's super helpful. And I really think that having this spreadsheet and like utilizing it the past 10 days has actually taken my diet to another level and I've, I've seen a lot of success because of it. So like a week ago, my car's check engine light turned on. You can see it, right? See that? Yeah, that's not good. Also the check coolant light warning is going on and off. So the first thing I need to do today is take the car to the dealership and hopefully it's not gonna cost me an arm and a leg to fix this thing. How are you? My check engine light's on and the coolant warning has been beeping. Why don't you leave the car off for now so that okay. it doesn't get too hot? Thank you so much. All right, so we'll diagnose, we'll check for the, I know you got the intermittent coolant, so you can initial here and then just sign down here to get All these right. two little spots. No problem. My brother's here to pick me up, take me to my dad's house. My dad has two cars, so I'm gonna borrow his truck. It's $125 just to plug the diagnostics in and run the check engine light and see if there's anything wrong. He goes, there might not be anything wrong with your car. The coolant could be like a little funky causing the check engine light to go off. Be like, if there's nothing wrong, you're gonna back my $125. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's like, there's nothing wrong with your car but you still owe us $125. Just kick you right the nuts. <laughs> That's what it is, man. All right, you got the keys? Uh, yeah, I got the keys. All right, hopefully the keys are good. Thanks again for being my shuttle. No problem, bro. Later. Who's the prettiest girl in the whole world? Who's the prettiest girl? So one thing nobody's ever commented on, but I really wonder about this, is that if you guys think I wear the same gym sweatshirt every day. Some people at the gym, they think I just wear the same shirt over and over again. Really though, I have like 25 of these sweatshirts. All right guys, so this is my rental car. This is the rental truck or my dad's spare car. Anyways, today's a pool day and I slept like absolute garbage last night, like garbage. So, a lot of times I have a, I have a plan with my lifts. There's definitely some structure, but with that being said, I also kind of intuitively lift. And today is going to be an intuitive lift. I think I'm gonna do 10 reps on deadlifts, light, just probably more cardio than actually working out. In my head, I'm thinking like, in the 365 to 385 range that's gonna end up being. And then I'm gonna do some really light speed, uh, straight leg deadlift work and accessory work, and maybe I'll film everything, who knows? But that's the plan today. I will see you guys at the gym.
times I've been dragged down again I won't linger no more Been too long in my storm I'll rise up and embrace the silence And let peace find me again Cause all I'm seeing is grey And all I know is I've been dragged down again I won't linger no more I've been too long in my storm I'll rise up and embrace the silence And let peace find me again You want dinner? You want me to make you dinner? Yes. What do you want me to make you? All right, easy enough. So yeah, I'm making the both of us dinner. This meal that I'm about to make myself though, this steak, potato, broccoli meal with the dessert is blueberry frozen Greek yogurt. I've been making this like the past two weeks, not because I feel like I have to after my workout, just because it's delicious. It's just like what I want to eat after my workouts. Dinner's ready, babe. Come and get it while it's hot. Alyssa's having a beef cutlet that she made a couple of nights ago. Uh, I split up some broccoli for both of us. She's having half of a Jersey White sweet potato because she's a baby. She can't eat a whole potato. So I'm eating the other You're potato. You're a baby. You're a baby. <laughs> I still love you. I love eating half of your potato. I get to eat more potato. So I've got like 515 grams of potato between mine and the other half of hers. A little bit of olive oil on there, some butt mushrooms with some onion, uh, 240 grams of sirloin steak, and this is a buffalo steak, which is a little bit leaner than the sirloin steak, and then 170 grams of broccoli. By the way, guys, Lee and parents, there, I think there's like three types of people in the world. There's the type of people who don't like to put anything on their steak. There's a type of people who like A1. And then my kind of people are the people who like Lee and parents on their steak. So I estimate this out to be like 10 grams of carbs. And uh, what I do is I like get a little bit of the mushroom and then I cut off a little bit of the steak and then I just dip it in the bowl. So listen, I just finished dinner and I just made some quick dessert. This is like one of my go-to desserts, especially just because it's super quick and easy. It's a cup and a half of blueberries, one cup of Greek yogurt, non-fat Greek yogurt, and like a half a tablespoon of sugar substitute. Look at this. It's like Froyo, but better because there are chunks of blueberry in there. All right, guys, so it's like midnight and I totally got sucked into editing a vlog. I am very, very tired. Alyssa's already asleep. I have been trying to upload a video every other day for this series, That Shredded Life, and it's just been a challenge kind of, not a New Year's resolution, because I don't believe in New Year's resolutions, but since the beginning of the year, that's kind of where my head's been at. And I've been doing that for the first two weeks. This is the first day that I'm going two days without a vlog. Anyways, today was a pretty great day. PR on deadlift, 400 pounds for five to the 10 at a body weight of 202. Are you kidding me? That is awesome, guys. I am like, I can't believe I hit that. I really can't. And I also can't believe I have 13 more weeks. I've been looking at my physique in the mirror and I just, I really, you know you're making some serious progress when you actually can see it in the mirror instead of like seeing photos of yourself. Because photos definitely, I think, help you see it a little bit more clearly. But when you're looking in the mirror and you're like, wow, today I look a little leaner here or here, I think that's when like you're making some big steps forward. And I've been seeing that. So it's super encouraging and I can't wait to see what the next 13 weeks have in store. I just feel like I have so much time to, I'm way ahead of the game. The last time I competed, six years ago, I competed like around this body weight. I was two pounds less, well, three. I was like 199 and I'm gonna end up being like 192, which is kind of crazy. Cause when I got my body fat measured last March, the amount of lean body mass that I had was 192 pounds. I'm not saying that I'm gonna be 0% body fat because that's just not how it works. But I think I'll end up close to 5% and I don't even, 
I can't even imagine what that looks like. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I'll wrap this up. I feel like this is kind of a long outro. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah. <laughs>